Hello and welcome to Crafting with Craft Elf. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Christmas ornament out of craft foil. It's a great project for anybody who likes to color. What you need to get started is a piece of 36 gauge craft foil and a picture that you would like to transfer to the craft foil. Now you can get this pattern on our website craftelf.com search for craft foil Christmas ornament. You'll also find um, a purchase source of where you can get the craft foil. Now the first thing you want to do is get a magazine or a you know, few sheets of paper and lay them down in your work surface. That will provide some cushion when you go to transfer the design. Then you're just going to place the foil on top of the magazine or paper and place the pattern on top of the foil. Now it's a good idea to tape it in place so that it doesn't move while you're transferring the pattern. So I just took a couple pieces of masking tape and attached my pattern to my craft foil. Next you're going to take a ballpoint pen and you're simply going to trace the design onto the craft foil. Now, since it is a ballpoint pen, you would think you might be marking up the foil, but you've got the paper as a buffer. So your pen marks will just be on the paper and you want to make sure you press down firmly so that you make indents of the pattern on the foil. So the only thing that you're actually doing is making dented lines into the foil and you're going to use those as your guide for coloring and then the outer line you're going to use as your guide to cut. So once you've gone over all of the lines you can go ahead and remove your pattern and place your pattern aside. You can keep reusing the same pattern. There's no need to keep printing off new ones. So now I've completely traced my design Simply remove the pattern and I don't know how well this will show up on camera but I now have indented lines in my foil. Then it's very important that you use permanent markers. But you're going to take some permanent markers and just start coloring in the design that you've transferred. If you were to use washable markers they would come off on your hands as you're, as you're coloring and they wouldn't give good coverage. They would just wipe right back off. But the permanent markers will give a lasting permanent color to the foil. I've experimented with different brands of markers and I always come back to using the Sharpie brand. Now when I go to buy my Sharpie markers I like to get a 40% off coupon to my local craft store and buy a package that has lots of colors in it. Save, saves a lot of money that way. So right now I'm coloring my background yellow on this one. And then I'm going to start to detail in some of the features. Now you can do any design that you'd like. My son took a piece of paper and he drew a picture of Snoopy with a Santa hat on and that's one of the ornaments that he made. You can see some pictures on craftelf.com with, with suggestions and ideas for other, for other designs in addition to this traditional Noel Christmas ball. I was amazed. One year we made these at our family Christmas party and I don't think there were two that were the same. Everybody picked different colors and different patterns and sometimes um, some of the family members chose to um, just trace the outside outline of the ornament and then they drew their own picture on the inside. 
one of the kids made a Pokeball. If you remember Pokemon, the Pokeball is a, a red and white ball, and that's what they made their ornament of. So there's many, many choices, many, many ideas. It's a great way to customize ornaments. So I'm doing a very quick job here because I don't think you want to sit and watch me color all afternoon. But you can take your time and make it very neat. Um, also, when you're coloring the foil ornament, don't worry about going outside the outer lines because when you cut the ornament out, it's um, you're just going to cut all that rough edge off. So it will be perfect. So if you start with lighter colors and you decide that you don't really like it, you can go over it with a darker color. Now, I did the basic ball yellow and then I used green for some of these little highlights, but I don't think that's showing up quite, quite as much as I'd like it to, so I'm going to take a pink marker and just go over it a little bit. I think that'll pop a little bit more and be able to be seen. Another thing that I really like with these foil ornaments is when it's hanging on the Christmas tree, because it's shiny, it will really reflect the Christmas lights. So it adds a nice, a nice glow, a nice little shimmer on the tree. So once you've once you've colored in all the sections, I suggest taking the marker and going back and outlining all the, the features. So I would trace around the mouth, trace around the eyes. It just really makes each item stand out more. And I'll show you the difference in just a minute. I'll show you what it looks like before and after I trace. So, this is what it looks like before I trace the, the um, features. And I'm just going to go around and in all the little indents, I'm going to use my marker to, to draw around those lines. So, it's really, really easy to outline on this because you do have the indents in the foil, the marker just glides. Makes it easy to stay in the lines, as you'd say. Okay. My last line here. Okay. And that's how it looks after I've traced all the features. Now you just take an ordinary pair of scissors. Excuse me, I forgot my scissors. You take an ordinary pair of scissors and just cut out around the outline. See, I'm just cutting, following around that outside crease. And here's a little tip that maybe not all of you know, but when you cut, you should turn the item you're cutting into the scissors like so. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be turning your arm trying to cut into it. You should just hold the scissors there and turn the item. You'll get a much cleaner cut. And it's just overall it's just easier. Voila. There you go. Now we want to hang be able to hang this on the tree. So we're just going to take an ordinary hole punch Punch a hole near the top. Now you have a hole. And you want to take a piece of yarn, string, or if you want it to be invisible, you can use fishing line, but I didn't want to use that here because it would be difficult to see on the camera. So you take a piece that's about 12 inches. You want to fold it in half, match up the two ends, tie it in an overhand knot, So now you have a loop. You want to pass the end, the loop, the looped end, through the punched hole on the ornament. So
so that it's going through the punch hole. Then you want to take the knotted end and just pass it through the loop and gently pull. That way when you hang your ornament it'll hang straight. For this project and many more projects please visit our website www.craftelf.com. Also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. It's a great way to see the new projects when they're added. Happy crafting!